Good day. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about confidence interval for a population proportion. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Okay. Maybe we need to move this a little bit down so that you can read what is going on. It says a uh, random sample of 250 pe people was surveyed and it was found that 98 out of 250 people had a tablet computer. Find a 95% confidence interval for the population proportion of people who have a laptop computer. So, the formula for confidence interval interval for the population proportion is p hat plus minus z alpha by 2 times square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat divided by n. So p hat is p hat is sample proportion. is equal to x over n, where x is number of successes, and n is your sample size. Okay? And <laughs> z alpha by 2 is the critical value Z is critical value of C. Okay. So in our example, P hat is X number of successes. 98 have laptop computers out of 250, which is equal to 98 divided by 250 and the answer is 0 0.392 okay our n is given as 250 okay so we need to know the uh, z alpha by 2 for 95 percent confidence interval so this is like this this is the standard normal curve. Z is equal to zero. So this is the standard normal curve. Normal curve. Okay. So confidence interval is in the center area is equal to C is equal to 0 0.95. Okay. Now alpha. Is it alpha is level of significance. Is the complement of level of confidence, complement or opposite of level of confidence. So alpha is equal to 1 minus C is equal to 1 minus 0 0.95 is 0 0.05 and that is equal to area of two tails. Tails are the extreme ends. So by symmetry, because of symmetry of the normal curve, left half is equal to the right half. Because of symmetry of uh, normal curve 
area of normal curve or area in each tail area in each tail is equal to alpha by 2 now alpha is sorry alpha is 0 0.05 so alpha by 2 is 0 0.05 divided by 2 is 0 0.025 so this left side area is area is alpha by 2 is equal to 0 0.025 and this side area is also alpha by 2 in the tail is 0 0.025 so we need to find this critical value of z this critical value of z why it is called critical value because it separates uh, the most probable region or the confidence region from the region which is not, we are not confident, which is in the tail. Okay. So, okay, and this uh, Z is called Z alpha by 2. And uh, let me make some small correction here. Let's uh, move this a little bit away from here. It's too crowded over here. Go back over here. And write this is v equal to z in the center. So in order to find minus z alpha by two, use m now. So second verse, and then scroll down to number three, which is m now. Okay, let me give some space. So. Okay, second verse three, which is in norm, and then second verse three is in norm, area is 0 0.025. So we do area is 0 0.025, mean we know standard normal curve is zero, sigma is for standard normal curve one, and we go to best. Then we are down on paste and enter and enter twice. Enter and enter. Whenever you are on paste, you have to hit enter twice. And enter and enter. So minus Z alpha by 2 is minus 1.96. And Z alpha by 2 by symmetry is positive 1.96. So, if I may create some more space, we have to use this formula so keep it handy. So, con, let's write. Maybe we should change the color of the info. So, for a change. so 95% confidence interval. Confidence interval which becomes. P hat, which is 0 0.392, plus minus Z alpha by 2, which is 1.96, multiplied by P hat is 0 0.392. Left parenthesis after that, 1 minus 0 0.392. This is 1 minus, okay. Right parenthesis. Then we are going to get the divided by and n is 250, okay? So, uh, let's keep the 0 0.392 separate and do plus minus, let's do the calculation inside the parenthesis. So how do I do that? Second, x square gives me the square root. Inside the square root, 
first I type 0.392 or p hat. Then left parenthesis 1 minus 0.392. Then divided by, then divided by 250 and hit enter. And this is, you might say, multiplied by 0 0.0. 309. Okay. So again, some more space. So this is 0 0.392 plus minus 1.96. You do the calculation on your calculator times. 0 0.30309, which is 0 0.06, 0 0.06, you might say. Now, this term, plus minus term, is called the margin of error, or some books call it Error bound margin, same thing. Error bound margin. So now, if we do the calculation first with the negative and then with the positive, we get 0.392 minus 0 0.0606, and it becomes 0.331. And then the plus. So 0.392 plus 0 0.0606, and it becomes 0 0.4531. So with 95% confidence, we can state, we can state that the actual population proportion actual population proportion will fall will fall between between 0 0.331 and 0 0.453 and 0 0.453. Okay, there's a much easier way to do it using the calculator, which I will show next, but I'll create some space for myself, so. Okay. So, th this is the second way to do it. Use TI-84. Okay, on, press the start button, press the start button, then move the cursor to tests, highlight that is, put the cursor on tests, the black rectangle, and then scroll down with the down arrow key, two, keep scrolling down till you see one one prop z interval when you see that you hit enter they will ask you for x remember my x is 98 so type in x is 98 n is 250 type 250 C level is 0.95. C level is 0.95. And then we will calculate. Calculate. Okay. And hit enter. And the answer is 0 0.331 and 0 0.453, same as before. 
Okay. So the last way of doing it is the much easier way of doing it. The first way of doing it is how to use the formula and do it. So I've show you, shown you both the methods. If you have any question, comment, please write me a note. I'll appreciate that and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And please share this video with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.